Hello everyone. In today's video we will talk about one of the best new indicators, which calculates the strength of volume in real time, to give several good opportunities to enter the market, whether it is Forex or crypto, its signals will be incredibly accurate. But before we start, do not miss registering on the Bybit platform, with the partnership link below the video, as you may be one of the winners of the $30,000 prize. Well, this indicator is basically a volume indicator, but because using the volume indicator is a bit difficult, and all the bars are lined up with the same colors, this indicator will act as a filter for all this noise, and will extract only the best signals. First, to apply the volume finder indicator, we will need to copy the link below the video, paste it into your browser, and when this page opens, scroll down, and click on this button to add it to favorites indicator. After that, go back to the chart, open the indicator box, then, click on favorites, and you will find that the indicator has appeared here. After applying this indicator, which was created by the bold signals, let us add any other simple indicator, in order to understand its use, and let it be for example, the moving average 20. Now, after applying the moving average, open its settings, and from the input section, change the length from 9 to 20, as for the color, you can choose the color you want. Well, using this indicator is very easy. When the volume columns appear in red color, we should look for short positions, and when we see that the volume columns are in green, we should look for long positions. As we can see, in most cases where a red column appears in the volume indicator, we find that the price has fallen as well. Sometimes we may see a slight drop, but sometimes the price drops dramatically. But what matters is that, this indicator works well with the short positions. I also think that this indicator is good in future trading, because as we can see, in one way or another, the price will drop even a little bit, with each red column. And this is what makes trading by setting two or three targets, better than using one target. Well, now let's check out some long signals on this indicator. Here, for example, we see the appearance of a green column on the volume indicator, and after that, the price has increased as well. Here too, we see the same thing. And even here, the price has increased slightly. In general, when these columns appear, we will get a strong signal to enter the market, but this does not mean that this indicator is without mistakes. Here for example, we see the appearance of a buy signal, and although the price has risen slightly, it remains a false signal as well. Here too, we see a sell signal, but it was also a false signal. And in order to avoid some of these false signals, let's use it with a moving average indicator, and let's set some rules as well. First, long positions. To enter into buying positions, there are two things. The first thing is to see that some candles were moving near or below the moving average. Second, we need to see that there is a green candle that crossed the moving average and closed above it. Third, we should see a buy signal appear in the volume indicator, which is the green bar here. And once all these conditions are met, we enter into a buy position. Second, short positions. To enter short positions, we have to reverse the rules. First, we need to see some candles moving above or near the moving average. Secondly, we need to see that there is a red candle that crossed the moving average and closed below it. Third, the appearance of a column in the volume indicator. And once all these rules are in place, we enter a sell position. But is this the only way to use this volume indicator? Of course not, there are several other ways, for example, this red candle here, as long as it closed below the moving average, and a sell signal appeared in the volume indicator, it can be used to enter a short position. Now let's see another way to use this indicator, and let's suppose, we find resistance area here. If we decide to enter a short position here, the price may go up, and this resistance becomes a support area, and this may cause many losses. For this, and instead of entering early, we have to wait for a signal from the volume indicator. Once the sell signal appears, this means that we have obtained a good confirmation. And as we can see, the price has gone down. Now let's take another example with another coin, and let's also use a small time frame, like 5 minutes. For example, let's say we were scalping, and then, we found the possibility of drawing a trend line here. As we know, when the candles return to the trend line, this means that there are two things, either a breakout of the line down, or a bounce back up. 
and since the volume indicator gave a high volume signal, this means that a rebound will occur and the candles will rise up. Well let's take another example and let's try it on gold. Also, let the time frame be 5 minutes. Now let's use it with another powerful indicator, which is the ATR indicator. We have already explained this amazing indicator, which was created by Tung Wan. In short, when the candles reach the green dots area, the possibility of a rebound is good. And when these probabilities are supported by a buy signal from the volume indicator, this means that they have been confirmed. And to know more, let's say we were trading here. Well, here we see the appearance of a green dot from the ATR indicator, and immediately after that, we see the appearance of a buy signal from the volume indicator. Which means, at this candle, we have good support, and we also have a high volume. As we can see, the price has gone up. Let's go ahead and take another example and let it be about breakout. Here, we see a breakout of the trend line, but as we know, the breakout may be false and the candlesticks may return below the trend line. So, we have to look for confirmation and since we are using the volume indicator, we will wait for its signal. As we can see, the candles started to retest the trend line, but with all this, we need a confirmation signal as well. Now, at this candle, we see the appearance of a high volume signal, and this means that we also got a confirmation signal to enter a buying position. Let's take another example, and let's say that we found a support area here. Here we see a red candle that breached the support level, and to confirm that this breach is real and it's not fake, we need to see a volume signal as well. And since the volume signal has also appeared, this gives good confidence to enter a sell position. And this is what happens, the price has gone down. Well, the uses of this indicator are too many, as it can also be used to confirm the buy bid alert spot, which you can also find its link below the video. Finally, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Good luck.